As Nigerians both home and abroad mourn the loss of their former national football team coach Stephen Keshi, the country's football association says his legacy will never be forgotten. Keshi died at the age of 54 on Wednesday of a suspected heart attack. A member of the Nigerian Football Association says he has etched his place in Nigeria's football history. Uh, Keshi represents uh, everything good and as a coach he's in the history books. He'll be remembered having winning as a captain and as a coach. That's one of his great legacies. And then he went on to coach Togo and Mali, which very few have been able to lay their hands on. So that shows you a lot of things about him as a person and his quality. Having taken over management of the Super Eagles in 2011, Keshi led the team to Nations Cup glory two years later, making him one of two Africans to have won the Nations Cup both as a player and coach. He was the first coach that I would say the players really respected. You know, we're so used to respecting foreign coaches, foreign coaches, but Steven Kaichi was the first home base, you know, coach that, you know, got that respect from the players. And I want to believe that's very important now because it's like that is what we are lacking again now. So it's so sad that we're going to miss him. He died too young. In his 20-year career as a footballer, Keshi played in clubs in France, Belgium and the U.S., paving the way for many young Nigerian football talents to play in European clubs. Stephen Keshi stood tall in a golden generation of Nigerian footballers, which includes J.J. Okocha, Samson Tsiasia and Sande Olise.